Greetings and welcome to the Barbara Gentry Pew Show, where we have expressions from the heart, the gateway to help, hope, and healing. I'm excited this, today to have as my special guest, LaTanya Orr. LaTanya is so happy that you've been able to join me today. Thank you for inviting me. And I am just excited to meet you. You're doing so many wonderful things, and I just love your creativity. So we're going to be able to talk about some of the things that you do and have our audience get to know what Tanya Orr and uh, Salah Branding and Design is all about. I'd just like to tell you a little bit about my special guest. Uh, Latanya Orr is CEO of Salah Branding and Design. Uh, Latanya holds a BA in Social Psychology from the University of Michigan and she uh, has an MBA in Entrepreneurial Management from Davenport University. So you have quite a bit of uh, knowledge uh, not only from educational, but also from experience. Yes. Definitely. Would you like to share with us um, a little bit about what you do and just tell us what Solar Branding and Design is all about? Well, um, about um, over 10 years ago, I launched out there in the deep and uh, began freelancing and decided to, uh, professionally I had been doing marketing and uh, media relations uh, professionally. so. Uh, I was being asked to do freelance work, to do things on the side. So I thought, you know what, why not, why not, why not just hang out my own shingle? And I started Sailor Branding and Design. And um, it's, uh, it has evolved, but um, essentially it is a design, uh, cl collaborative design studio where we provide marketing and branding solutions for corporate as well as nonprofit organizations. Yes, I um, just perused the internet looking at all the things that you had done and I was just so impressed with your creativity with all the different brands, brandings that you had done for various organizations and uh, just how did you discover that you were so talented? I mean, did you just <laughs> you feel like you were born with that or you were meant to do that or just, um, as you said, evolved in terms of your business? Uh, it was just a God-given talent. I believe so. Um, I always had a knack for mm -hmm. art. Um, my mother, my parents really cultivated that in both my sister and I in terms of, you know, exploring different things. And uh, I remember uh, one Christmas I got uh, some paint by numbers, some oil paintings, and it were the large ones. And um, I would sit down in, um, in, my, in my studio <laughs> in, a, in our basement <laughs> for hours and paint. And so I always had an interest in painting and art. And uh, although I didn't have, you know, the gift of illustration, I wasn't, a, I couldn't draw per se, but I knew what looked good. I knew how to put um, images together and create different concepts. And so I learned that, I, I, I knew that early on, very, at a very young age. Well, what you do is so important because you can have a wonderful book Mm -hmm. You can have a wonderful business, but if it's not properly uh, designed in terms of getting the, uh, the, their uh, brand out yes. and getting out to the public, no one will know how wonderful the book was. How important um, do you think it is for a business to have a brand, uh, and how do you go about helping them to get truly exposed so that they can maximize their business? Um. Well, that is actually a loaded question, <laughs> but um, I really, uh, my niche has been women-owned businesses. Okay. Um, I have worked, I've done co on, you know, on the corporate side, of course, I've worked with some of the larger organizations, um, and I still do, um, but my heart has always been with women, women entrepreneurs, and being able to identify what needs, what their branding needs or what their image needs um, to um, to leverage their mission, um, and that needs to be displayed in a way that is um, creative, is innovative, that it does that it distinguishes them from the next person in the same um, business arena that they're in, um, and also to kind of give them um, because I work so many so much with startups, mm -hmm. to be able to give them uh, sort of this. Um, Again, the distinction that sets them apart from, from other people, particularly, you know, particularly if you're a startup company. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
Well, you know, I just have an eye for uh, beautiful color and beautiful design, yes. and I just sit there and I just look, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I, how do you decide um, how you want to brand a person? How do you, uh, say if I came to you and um, I'm writing a book, and um, what would you need to know from me that you could truly just hit the target mm -hmm. with what I should be looking like as a brand? Well, um, a couple of different things. Um, obviously, if you're writing a book, then perhaps, obviously, you have a title. Mm -hmm. So if the title is speaking to your expertise, um, so if you're doing something that's a nonfiction uh, book where you're going to be sharing your professional knowledge and expertise and you have this title, then that the book should, of course, um, represent that title, it should show what you are speaking on. I mean, people should be able to right away identify um, from that cover, um, you know, that one, it stands out from, from other covers. Um, two, there's no, you know, issue with, okay, so what is she talking about? Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is the book about? Uh, so again, just being very clear, uh, being creative and again being innovative in terms of the design um, I'm definitely uh, in tune with the Holy Spirit and so uh, a lot of times uh, my authors come to me and they don't have an idea or a visual idea of how they want their book represented in terms of a design in terms of the cover so ultimately they say well you know Latanya I give you you know creative license to create to come up with you know the concepts and so um so oftentimes i'll sit in front of my computer and i'll say okay god give it to me mm -hmm. i said so i i so I, I really really wait for him to give me a download because oftentimes in particularly um as i because i am busy and i'm working with you know multiple clients at the same time again i want to be able to um you know that this cover doesn't look like the next mm -hmm. author's cover mm -hmm. so it's definitely got to be you know for a number of reasons it definitely needs to okay you know Barbara's cover is you know her book looks like this but then the next person book looks like something else and you know that it represents mm -hmm. the the mm -hmm. theme and the overall audience that the book is you know tailored to so many people pick up the book based on the cover absolutely whether it's a good read or not whether it's, it's a good that reader. Cover. Yes. And cover speaks volumes. Okay, so it's so I, I'm just excited to hear you say you let you hear from the Holy Spirit. Absolutely. Uh, no matter what the book is about, you want to make sure that you give the best yes. to that person is and it's really led by the Spirit. Yes. I'm excited about that because you can't go wrong. No, you can't. When it's directed by, Absolutely. by God Himself. Yeah. So I'm excited. Tell me some other things that you do. I know you do branding, you do uh, for book covers, mm -hmm. you do uh, logo design. Yes, yes. And uh, some other packages. What about if I, if I decided to do some extra things aside from my book? Sure. Uh, some um, things to enhance my book. What yes. would you suggest that an author would do? Um, some other things to, to add to, yes. to the book. Um, well, I mean, it's always good to have some, you know, promotional materials for your book, even if uh, you're not necessarily, I mean, it's different, everyone is in a different space in terms of how they want to promote themselves. Uh, just because you're writing a book doesn't necessarily mean that when you, when the book is ready that you want to, you know, be gung-ho and go running out and doing book signings and uh, speaking engagements and all of that. I mean, I've had, I've got authors who have wanted to do that of course and then i have authors who have said look i just want to have this book available um in terms of their if they do do workshops and seminars as a, as a complement to what they're already doing so you know again it just depends on the person and what they really want to do but um but there's some there's some some pieces some collateral that i definitely recommend that you know that you have and of course that is that you know that good old four by six kicker card mm -hmm. uh that of course you know showcases the cover tells a little bit about you tells a little bit about uh, how they can you know purchase the book and where they can find it so that's that's a definite um, mainstay marketing piece that that is key uh that you have in your purse and put them in your bag and, and so forth 
Um, another thing, of course, one of the things in terms of marketing and branding is that, you know, the first thing or two things that people tend to ask you, even if you're an author, is one, do you have a business card? Mm -hmm. Two, do you have a website? So even if you're not ready to, again, sort of, uh, you know, create that 20 page website with you know, all this information, but just to have a web presence is key to uh, promoting yourself and promoting your book. So those are the two, mm -hmm. I think the two primary avenues that, um, that are just integral in terms of really um, promoting and you know, establishing yourself as that expert. But book. if you want to do speaking engagements in addition to the book, because the message I feel that is a message that I want to get out, how soon would you say you could um, suggest doing something in that line um, oh as soon branding as using your brand using the brand that you would create yes mm -hmm. absolutely um, as soon as you have the cover design as okay. soon as you have a cover design you can promote uh, begin to prom the promotion of your book um, you can use that image of course on your website if you have one mm -hmm. or obviously using social media to promote uh, the book uh, yeah, as soon as you have that image, you can do pre-orders. Um, I definitely encourage people to do pre-orders. Again, getting that 4x6 that kicker card. Uh, you can even do some type of an e-blast, obviously, mm -hmm. to your constituents and to those who follow you to, again, letting people know, you know, you know, building awareness that the book is getting ready to come out, even if it's um, down the way, if it, mm -hmm. even if it's, you know, a year out. Mm -hmm. um, I've had, a whole, I, yeah, a whole year. I mean, I've had people to... Uh, they're not finished writing but you know again if they're subject matter experts mm -hmm. then it's 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 sort of it's the, in terms of building upon what they're already doing and so even if, as I say even if they're not ready uh, but they've got this book in the works then yes so go ahead and promote that. yeah absolutely. in terms of a logo if you wanted to uh, have a design have a logo and you want to just have it on a lot of different things sure. Um, a keychain, a bracelet, mm -hmm. and all that sort of thing. Is that something you would recommend? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay. If you're going to spend the money to do a logo, then yes, you want to, be, you know, that is your part of your mm -hmm. brand. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what, again, establishes your, 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 your business, your brand, your messaging. Mm -hmm. um, it is not the brand, but it is definitely a part, part of the of identity brand. of your brand is having a logo. So definitely being... Um, uh, you know, that it gets out there, that people know that, mm -hmm. you know, again, to begin to identify mm -hmm. and having consistency in terms of a look and feel across everything that you're doing okay. with the logo. Well, it's, it's obvious that uh, the right brand sort of leads to success. Absolutely. How much um, success would you envision a person with the correct brand? And well, I mean, you can look at let's look at the big let's look at the big corporations. Let's okay. look at those who have uh, even um, the staying power of a brand. Uh, for instance, Ford or you know any of the big three. Um, our hospitals, uh, they have uh, established a a brand brand recognition and a brand promise as a result of what you see in terms of their. Um, in terms of their logo, so if you if you you know if you see the Ford emblem, there's some things that that come to mind in mm -hmm. terms of what that represents. I mm -hmm. mean, of course, there's some negative and there's some mm -hmm. positive, but for the most part, over a hundred and something years, you've got you know a positive almost a hundred years of a of, of a positive image that is that is portrayed by that brand. So it's staying power. There's um, the ability to leverage the mission and the vision of that organization. Um, once you've, um, a lot of the, you know, larger organizations have spent, you know, you know top dollar to have a logo done. Mm. I mean, you can spend up to $20,000 for a logo. Really? Oh, yes. So how do you determine um, a $1,000 logo from a $20,000 logo? I mean, how do you... You say if you spend a thousand dollars for a logo and it's a great success, sure. and you spend twenty thousand, 
I don't. I think there's no respect to okay. persons, if 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 I could say that. Okay. Um, it just depends on where your budget is. Okay. So if you're a larger organization and can't afford to hire an agency that is at that level, then you will go ahead and pay them what they, you know, what their fee is. Um, the same goes for someone who's a startup. Um, which has been my niche. Okay. My niche is to be able to provide the same, I think, quality logo design as well as other branding and marketing services for those who don't have those big budgets. Okay. Just because you don't have a big budget doesn't mean that you shouldn't have big, 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 idea, big ideas. Big ideas, right. Well, I was just really excited to meet you. I met you at the Olivia Circle Christian yes. and Business and Professional Women's Group. And I uh, immediately went on your website, and I'm like, oh, my goodness, these, this, the, the, the color, the design, yeah. you know, it's something I connected with because I love just beautiful, creative work. Thank you. Uh, and it catches the eye. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm excited about the things that you're doing and that you're able to do. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about some of the other things. I, I get emails, and I see all <laughs> the great things you're doing. And so this is a busy <laughs> lady. When does she have time to do design mm. work? In and I understand sleep. you have a um, a magazine, an yes. e magazine coming. Yes. Tell us about Lady Trip. Tr Trip. 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 Yep, Lady Trip. Trip. Mm -hmm. Trip is a the new lingo for entrepreneur. So if okay. you just take T R E P out of the word entrepreneur, okay. it's just that easy. I didn't mm -hmm. see that at first. Okay, <laughs> it's just okay. that easy. Yes, it's ah. a, so the new term. And um, I this is a really long story, Barbara, but. Um, in a nutshell, um, I was given the idea to start a magazine over 20 years ago. Okay. God gave me that idea. Matter of fact, um, before Christmas, around Christmas time, um, we had just recently moved, so I was going through some things, and I actually literally put my hand on the folder mm. that I had created over 20 years ago with my ideas and my thoughts for a magazine. And obviously then it was going to have to be a printed magazine because that's, mm -hmm. that, was, that's that was the way we, you, know, mm -hmm. you did things. Um, so God reminded me of that, of that dream that I had, and, um, which is actually a twofer. Uh, it was one to have a magazine or sort of a, sh a place, a form mm -hmm. for women entrepreneurs particularly okay. um, to be able to showcase their expertise, you know, what they're doing in the workplace, I mean, in, in the marketplace. I mean, what, you know, what are those things that we as women do? Um, you know, again, the startups, particularly those who mm -hmm. are starting out, a place for them to be able to showcase and feature themselves. And there's really not anything, I mean, you know, there's, there is, but there isn't. Mm -hmm. And particularly in the metropolitan Detroit area, um, there really isn't that s spot, mm -hmm. you know. And I'm not saying that there aren't resources available to uh, women entrepreneurs. But specifically for African American and Latina uh, entrepreneurs, women entrepreneurs, there really isn't a, a place where we can be showcased and featured. And so God brought that back to me the That's first of the year to, um, to create that form and to do that, one, through by way of a magazine. So a digital e-zine is essentially what I'm going, is e what I'm creating. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm creating. I'm launching it um, in June. It's coming. Well, yes. starting this is this June. month. Today, yes, June this 1st. month. Yes, <laughs> and uh, I'm excited about it. Yes. Um, it's not a small endeavor because I really, um, I really want this to sort of take my career to this to the next level in terms of the, some of the things that I've always done. Um, I've always been a bridge. I've always okay. been someone who connects other people, particularly mm -hmm. as it relates to us as women entrepreneurs, being able to connect us with each other and to as a resource mm -hmm. or even as a customer, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to provide those resources and, 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 and potential clients for each other. And again, that's also something that we don't normally do. Exactly. We, you know, it's all about, okay, I'm building my business, mm -hmm. but how do you build a business if you don't have a team of people or a support group that can act as your resource base? Mm -hmm. And so I, I'm, I'm sort of coupling the two by providing the easing, but also providing an opportunity for us to gather. So uh, I'm calling them Lady Trap Table Talks. 
I saw that. Yes. yes. That was on the 29th. You that had was, one. yes, yes. And so what happens, I was just, I started to call you. I said, it looks like I'm missing a great event. I couldn't ah. be there. Um, but I saw the, the women that you had. Yes. And so you come, you gather and you talk about. Well, this just again, so that Thursday was the launch or mm -hmm. the May 29th was, was the launch and was the launch pad, if you will, in terms of, again, showcasing what we do, what we individually are doing, and then how collectively we can work together. Okay. Um, so it's like, why are we doing this stuff? Why, you know, mm -hmm. we all do, we're all these different hats. Mm -hmm. And when we get an idea, you know, it's, it's hard for us to, to not go all the way. You know, women, we want, we see it all the way through. Whether or not we delegate responsibilities or we ask for help, we just fall in and we go. So the whole point of Lady Trap is to, you know, again, providing resources for each other. And then for us to kind of take a, you know, you know, to look back or take a back seat and say, oh, Barbara could help me with that. Um, I wonder if I could be on her show or recommending another lady, you know, a woman who is doing what they're doing mm -hmm. to be on your show. Again, to promote each other, to be a... To help. To help each other, exactly. Oh, that sounds great. So now the launch that you had on the 29th, is that going to be um, an Regular. ongoing? Yes. Okay. Yes. And, and that will be connected directly to... The magazine. The, e the magazine. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. And the magazine will come out monthly? Uh, well, I'm going to start it out monthly uh, okay. because it is an e-zine or, you know, because it's going to be digital. Mm -hmm. There will be some things that will be um, weekly sh things. So, like, for instance, um, I actually have started kind of independently of the website a weekly newsletter, e-newsletter. And in that newsletter, I'm focusing, um, it kind of started out as to be a 12-week, you know, I'm going to focus on 60 women. That's what God told me to do, focus on 60. And which has turned into, I've got women, I could feature five women a week from mm. now till Jesus came back, for real, wow. to be honest. So I started out doing it, for, going to be doing it for 12 weeks. Well, no, I'm all the way to December wow. with That's who awesome. I can, I mean, r and, and primarily women from Metro Detroit. Now, I've right. got, I'm, I'm going to be featuring women from out, you know, all, all around, mm -hmm. you know, nationally and internationally. Mm -hmm. But the wealth of resources and expertise right here that the world would say is not existing in Detroit. No, I beg to differ. It's, abund it's, it's, a, it's an abundance of, of good things happening here. Mm -hmm. And there are women spearheading those those initiatives so you would if i want to be introduced on your show uh, in your magazine mm -hmm. uh, uh and you you were um having me as part of the monthly the weekly weekly yes then weekly. you would share all about who barbara gentry pew is Absolutely. all about mm -hmm. and some of my goals plans whatever exactly and what i'm doing currently right okay. and, how, and how to access you that's the other thing is making the women that are featured accessible you know now i think there's there's a stigma around that well oh she's not accessible i can't get to her no that's not true you know there are those that that of course have positioned themselves that way but mm -hmm. for the most part i mean we all want to be you know to reach and to touch mm -hmm. and so to make to make that connection with all of us and that's that is so odd. that is so important because just being a member of the lydia circle yes um i was able to meet you and so many other wonderful women that are doing so many wonderful things exactly. so this is another avenue, another avenue. Mm -hmm. that uh, p women will be able to get primarily women yes primarily women we'll yes. see because it is lady trip yes it is. <laughs> so uh i'm excited so it's it's already launched and well, it will be on it available uh, well, yeah. it's it's in process. In process, it's okay. in process. Okay. Yes, and I definitely will be making um, the the real announcement that it is officially 
uh, launched. launched, yes. And so we can just go to your website and how do we sign up to get Lady Trip? You e actually can go to www.ladytrep, and that's T R E P dot com. And right now, currently, you can sign up to um, uh, some, you know, submit your email address to be included to receive um, the magazine. Well, I've already done that. So I saw that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so I am on board. Yes. Well, I'm just really excited about um, Lady Tripp and uh, just meeting all these wonderful women. I know you had you featured four at the launch. Uh, well, actually, I've, let me see. I'm on week. Five. Okay. And so, so yeah, week five, and um, we um, some like kind of like we I'm halfway, almost halfway through the first twelve. Okay. And then I'm gonna stop and sort of do a recap. It's sort okay. of the vision I have. Redo a recap in the middle, and then start another twelve weeks. And then stop and do another 12. Okay, now I look yes. forward to being a part of yes, one of Yes, and you are on my list. Oh, well, wonderful. <laughs> of course. <I'm> excited. <laughs> <laughs> well, it has just been uh, a joy talking with Praise you, God. LaTanya. And I want you to tell our audience how they can get in touch with you, okay. what you have to offer, and uh, just how much you can be of an asset to them. And so Thank you. they can get to your website, yep. and you can let them know what that is. Well, I have two websites. Mm -hmm. um, as uh, I know. <laughs> yes. I, I can be reached in terms of Sailor Branding and Design um, at www.i, the letter I, S-E-L-A-H.com, isailor.com is mm -hmm. the abbreviated version of my Sailor Branding and Design. Mm -hmm. um, you can also, of course, Google my name, or you can mm -hmm. do latanyaor.com as well. And you can reach um, both sites, um, reach me that way, as well as, of course, ladytrap.com. And uh, let's see, the, um, feel free, of course, to email me. Um, but again, you can get, you can, all three of those different mm -hmm. uh, websites, you me. have access mm -hmm. to me. Yeah. Great. Yeah. Well, thank you for coming and being a part of my show today. Great, thank and you. And I just look forward to doing some wonderful things with you in the future. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank this you. has been the Barbara Gentry Pew Show. Thank you for being a part of our show today. And we will see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.